Hello friends, here we are. I hope you have, try you have tried doing the last one which I taught you, that is how to display an image. So in this session we are going to see how to resize an image. Uh, let me give you a, a short recap of what we did in the last lecture. So I'm just going to run it. Uh, yeah, this is what we saw, right? It's a kind of zoomed in image. So I want to resize it and then show you what comes. So the program for resizing, I made it already. Here it is. Now let me explain this for you. So I hope you'll be clear with the first three commands which I've given for importing the library files and to just read the uh, image. And then I've written the command print original dimensions img.shape. So print is the command which is used to print any anything which you want to see it on the screen. Uh, and now this is a function, this one you can see. Uh, dot shape. Uh, this command, this one, this helps us to uh, know the dimensions of the image. So img dot shape gives us the dimensions of the current image which we are working in. That is, I'm working with img right now. That I've, that's our, that's what I've named here. So it tells me the dimensions of the image img which I've stored here. So let me just show you how does it show. Um, you can see it here, right? Original dimensions 2592 comma 3556 comma 3. So what does this 3 tell you? This 3 is actually due to uh, the three different arrays. That is R, G, B arrays, right? Uh, so that's what uh, that's what it indicates. The number 3 indicates that. And now I've written, I've given a variable to the, uh, call this scale percent 10 and I'm uh, calculating the new width and height to which I want to resize my new image. Uh, so int of this in Python, int of whatever you give inside this, uh, even if it comes out to be a float value, it converts it into int, integer form. So that's what I'm converting uh, my new width and height into int. So I'm taking img.shape, that is uh, the, or the original dimensions, that is, which I already have, that is multiplied by the scale percent and divided by 100, so that it could give me the new width and height. And I'm storing it in the variable dim. So you know, now we are going to see the command to resize it. Uh, for that, you use cv2.resize of this. So there are three arguments in this resize command. As you can see, the first argument, it tells me which image I want to resize. So it's img. And then it tells me uh, the new dimensions of the image which I want to get. So dim, it specifies the new dimensions of the image which I want and now interpolation uh, is equal to cv2.inter area. So you know what basically interpolation means. You might have heard the term in normal English usage as well. So it's nothing but you're gonna insert something of different nature into something else. Even in mathematics you might have used interpolation where you insert some value between uh, another two values. In, so you find an intermediate value between uh, any other two values. That's what in max we tell. So you can search for more in the internet. There are more interpolations like uh, interarea, intercubic, interlinear, and so on. You know, so I've got the resized image and, image and I've stored it in the variable resized. Now I'm going to print the dimensions of the new resized image. So the same thing, I'm just gonna print it. So I'm using the same uh, command. So here I'm giving resize.shape. They have given img.shape since I want to know the uh, dimensions of the image img. Here I want to know the dimensions of the image resized. So you can see here, I already run, I already run it and now, so it's here. It tells me 259,259,3. That's the size of my new resized image. And now I just want to store this somewhere. I want to store my resized image. So for that, you go for the command cv2.imwrite. So it's, it has the same format like uh, this, you can see here. So this resize.jpg, it's the name I want to give to my uh, image, what I'm going to save. So I'm going to save my name, uh, image as resized. The name I'm going to give my re uh, image, new image is resized. And what? What image I want to save that is resized. Here you can see right? that is also resized. I've used the term resized. You can even change the name. Uh, so I'm going to store the image resized in the name resized and the extension JPG. You just have to want to mention that, which I've seen in the last lecture itself. 
And now the next one is, as you know, you're going to just show the image or display the image. Which one? Resized. With the label, resized image. So it ends with the command cvd.aki as you all know. So now let me run it. Let's see what happens. So it's out right here. Yeah. Good. Look at it. So, you know what? I love animals, so I've used a picture of a line to illustrate it. You can use whatever image that you want. And now you can see it has been resized. In this, uh, well, which one I, which I showed you last, it was a kind of zoomed in, and now you can see the full picture, which I resized. And now you can even change the scale percent. Uh, see, uh, I've given a scale percent of 20, 10, and now I can change it. Say, for example, let's put 30. Let's see what happens right now. And I'm just going to run it here. See? You can see it has increased in size. So just by, uh, you can just change the scale percent and see what happens. You can see different images with resized dimensions. So just change it, have fun, and play around with it. Happy learning, people.